Johnny's just told me if he knows this one, he's going to sing it for us. Ooh, yeah. Lovely. Come on then. Got there the go. goods. Got the goods. Got the money. Oh, two fried eggs <laughs> today. Thank you Let's much. have a look. It's a shame he doesn't know this one. And nor do I. Do you know what James sort of gives a little what was it? tingle? This. Do you know that one? <laughs> I might have to look that yeah. one up. It's from down in Yon Forest, but I've never heard that one before. It's a lovely colour. You're not going to believe this. So I've just been, well, oh, you probably will. But I've just been sorting out all of my auction stuff down the end. And I thought this was just a normal laundry basket. It's not though. Because I've seen these blue things at the side and I thought, they must do something. And look, if you press them down, no, yeah, it turns into a laundry basket with a stand. And then when you finish your laundry, you just pull the things up. <laughs> You've got no idea how happy that has made me. Oh, hello, Ian. Oh, I don't, can't let him see it, he'll think it's a cot. Oh, the washing's done. I could use the new basket, can't I? See, he's straight in it. Straight in it. Ian, you can't have it, darling. That's my new fantastic laundry basket. Can't believe it. James is going to lose it when he sees this later. I can't wait. Hello. I'll have to film his reaction. I've just shown Johnny it. What do you reckon? It's crazy, isn't it? It's the best thing ever. Oh, he's gone now. Oh, God. I feel like my life has changed. It's so good. Johnny, I could have another baby and this is where it could sleep. God. You wouldn't mind, would you? No. Lizzie would be so cross. Yes, I cannot wait for Dad to come home. Now, I hope that the camera's going to show up these colours. It's usually quite good in here, but it does tend to show blues as being more green than they actually are but this is fine so as you know i've been going through the auction stuff today i found the fantastic basket didn't i that i didn't know did something amazing um now included in the things that i bought was this basket full of hankies and i've just been looking through them properly look at that these are all white hankies. I'm going to send some of these off to my friend Gaynor because I know her husband uses hankies. I'd recommend she probably gives them a wash. However, they smell clean. They're lovely. There's a couple of these like rust spots on. No Lily and not at the moment. So these are all the white ones. I've just been sorting them all out but I've got to go through these again because in the white ones I found this little treasure here I'm going to put that through the wash and give it a little dab of vanish or something like that so I need to make sure there's no more like that I think that that is just I think it's been drawn on with the pen I can see it can you see it I think that's just the ink coming out of the pen. Well, maybe I should finish that off. But then again, I think it'll look quite nice with just the green and the white. Just those bits. Yep, I'm going to put it in the wash and hope for the best. So these are all of the other ones. There's so many. And they're all really lovely. Now, these bring back memories. And I sent some pictures of them to my mum and she said that she used to get one of these every year with her Christmas card from her auntie. Lillian, stop it. Come on. There's loads of these sort of brown and uh, grey and all. They're just all lovely. I like that one. But I've made a pile of my fav favourites so I thought I'd show them to you. So, of course... The hand embroidered one. Where, where have I put that one? Right, so we'll put that there. Lillian will put them in the basket. And then I love this one. It's so delicate. It's nearly... Oh, can you hear him licking his feet over there? Dennis! That's enough. It'll start up again. So if you hear horrible noises in the background, that's him. But it's so delicate. And then the, all the ones I like, the ones that have got big holes in. 
I love this one. <laughs> yeah, I might give that one a wash as well. I, I just love that one. And I really like this one as well. They're just so lovely. And I love this one as well. All the ones I'm showing you have got stuff on them, but honestly, they are immaculate, all the rest of them. I like that one. Oh, and this one. I love this. So what I'm thinking about doing, but I don't know if this will put people off or not, but I think I'm going to make some bears and call them the handkerchief bears and dress them all in different dresses made from these hankies. Will that make you feel sick, everybody? That won't be the next... The next teddy bear club is Snow Bunnies, and that's going to be at the end of December. But I'm thinking... Or... I know what I could do. I could dress my spring lambs in these, couldn't I? Because they'll be coming up soon. Look, this is lovely. It's never been used, this one. Look, this is another one of those little delicate ones. Oh, I just love them. I used to have some like this in my knicker drawer, all folded up and ironed. Oh, we're getting to my favourites now. Oh, this is just one of the white ones. That's one of the white ones. Look at this one, this lovely pink one. I've had to swap hands. Oh, I just love them. And then look at that one. That reminds me of a school tablecloth. And then this is just a pink one. It looks orange, but it's not. It's a really nice sort of pinky colour. I've saved my favourite till last, but I love this one because I like spots. Look, it's got really delicate spots on it. And um, this is my number one favourite. And it's got holes in it and it's all ripped. But this is my favourite. Yeah, so what do you think? Do you think people would be put off? Honestly, they, they are new. But can you imagine, like, some lovely bears or rabbits or something in these skirts? Skirts made out of vintage hankies. I think that would be so nice. Well, I'm going to have a chat with you now about my knitting. And I'm going to try and fit these back in there which is going to be quite dif difficult i've got to keep them out and keep them on the top i love this one it's so soft as well aren't i daft well they're back in the basket but they're not in as well as they were before love this i, I found another thing i wanted to show you as, as well it's a piece of fabric that was with the stuff that i bought oh i just love it can you see? I don't know. I'll tell you why I think I like it. I think it's because it reminds me of the book Each Peach Pear Plum. Do you remember that? I spy Tom Thumb. Tom Thumb in the cupboard. I spy Mother Hubbard. Do you remember that one, Lily? I used to read that to you when you were a baby, didn't I? I'm doing this up because this dress and this angle makes me look buxom. So I'm just covering things up a bit because I don't want <laughs> Anyway, I thought I'd just show you what I've been making over the last couple of days and show you how I'm getting on with my um, scarf that I'm knitting. So I finished the socks for James. I've just got Kitchener the toe on this one and I'm going to do that in a minute. I fell asleep. We were watching uh, Nativity and we've watched the Polar Express today. So I've just got a Kitchener the end of that one. And then I've got two, so I'll give him those for his Christmas present. And I'll tell you properly about them when I do a podcast. But bear in mind, they may have been warmed, worn at that point. So here's my scarf. I haven't put yesterday's in or today's. It's massive. I realised when I looked at it this morning... I've missed out a row of eyelets. There should be two rows there, but it doesn't matter. No one would ever notice. So uh, let me try and show you this. Actually, I'll start from this end. Oh, 
Oh, I'm in a muddle, Lillian. There we are. I think Lizzie's got her eye on this. Now, I think this green there, that's been my favourite colour so far, apart from this blue that I did yesterday. No, yeah, I did finish doing this blue yesterday, but it's nice, isn't it? You see how, let me see how many times it goes round. Already it goes around several times, so it's going to be nice and big by the time I've finished. So I've got to put in this one next, and then this one. That one reminds me of Quality Street because it's like purple and sparkly. So I'm getting on quite well with that. This bag that I'm using, my mum bought me last year some L'Occitane um, vanilla stuff. But it was in this bag. I've been using this to keep it in. Of course it's quite long because I'm using some nice straight needles. I do like knitting with straight needles. Yes, I know Patsy. Patsy says she prefers straight needles as well. I don't know if you picked that up, that noise. People with headphones might have heard it, but Patsy just had something to say about it all. Oh, I love having my guinea pigs in here with me, but oh, they're in the way. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm finding, sorry my sweetheart, I'll tell you what I'm finding with these, with this. Don't realise how much knitting 10 grams is. It is a lot. It takes me quite a while to knit that in every day. It don't look like very much, does it? But if you think, if that was a sock, that would be the leg of a sock every night, wouldn't it? Because the, the, um, it's more than the leg of a sock, actually, because this has got more stitches than a sock. Yeah, so it is just so much... So by the time I'm, I've done it, I, I don't really have a lot of time to do much more. So I had to leave it for the last... No, I did do some last night. Oh, anyway, I had a couple of nights off. Did I? Oh, anyway, I just wanted to get those socks done for James so I, that I can give them to him for Christmas. So I will probably do a bit more on that tonight. I'll definitely do a bit more on that tonight. So what am I doing tomorrow? Well, I've got to go and see, I haven't got to go, but I'm going to see my friend Peter next door. For Well, it's normally Thursday club, but we're doing Tuesday this week. I've got a bit of a dilemma. I don't know what to do because this is going to be the last time before I see him before Christmas. So I don't know whether to take him a present. Because I'd like to. But I don't want him to feel bad if he hasn't got me one, which is unlikely. And I don't care. I don't want a present from him. I don't, you know, if he gets me one, that's lovely. But I'm not expecting a present from him. Let's put it that way. So I don't know. Maybe I could just nip up the shop and get him a Toblerone or something like that. I'd love a Toblerone. Have you tried the golden Toblerones yet? Me and Johnny shared one. We got one and hid it in his bedroom. <laughs> Just kept it to ourselves. Oh, Lillian, have you ever seen what she does? She lets me cradle her like a baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, she's not going to do it now, is she? Lillian, come on. That's it. Come on. That's it. My baby. That's it. too hot keep you decent we i think are going to go and get some shopping tomorrow our christmas food shopping 
where I let the children really pick what they want, like some treats for over Christmas. And Lizzie's already said, I'm going to get some of them pancakes that go in the toaster. Uh, what else did she say? Some fruit winders. She's going to get some of those. And there was something else she said. It was quite... I can't remember. It might, yeah, I think it was strawberry flavoured water. <laughs> so sweet. And Johnny will pick some lucky charms. He always picks those. Right, this is too long. I'm going to go and cuddle this dog. I might wrap you up in a blanket and a treat. Oh, that's one of her words she knows. She doesn't know very many words. She just knows the word sausage. So does Dennis. She knows the word... Um, Dinner stick. We've already had that today, haven't we? I'm going because this is going to be too long and I was expecting it to be short. I'll see you in the morning, everybody. Bye.